So I have a Subaru uh, Cross Sport. This is a 2007 model. Okay, um, it has an engine which is called the EJ20. This is a non-turbo engine. Okay, so um, we're going to be talking to we're going to be talking to the owner uh, to get now. Normally, this is how you know which Cross Sport is. Now the Cross Sport has this thing here, uh, that cut timber there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, talking to the owner to see what the experience is. Uh, it's a very comfortable car. It has a very nice interior, uh, very comfortable. It also has a very spacious boot. See, plenty of space here for you to store all your stuff. Yeah, I love I love the backlights, and um, so you can store your stuff in here and actually cover. In case you're taking people, you don't want to see that you have got Matoke from the village. You have that thing there that you can pull and you can actually put it back. So you still have stuff uh, for you to lock things. If you have something that it has straps, you can actually strap it there. Now when you open, you have a storage area here, as you can see. And then, actually this is a UBK, so the owner still has manuals here. If you buy, buy a car from the bond, normally you'll find these manuals. And some of them have English, but this has a stupid Chinese. And you, these manuals help you to um, to know exactly what uh, other things do. So still, in very still very intact. Everything is still intact. So when you open these things, you open here. The spare tire is down there. See, yeah. And you have some ports here for the cigarette port. You can put uh, our chargers there as well. Yeah, and you have a lot of straps here. You have things to to store to store in your car. A lot of straps. Yeah, it's a very it's a very nice car, very comfortable. This is a petrol, 2000 cc. The EJ20 is 2000 cc. Yeah, very very nice, comfy comfy upholstery. I mean, the seats are very very comfortable. And of course, it doesn't have a lot of space in the back. But I don't think that if you sat in the back of this car, you'd actually feel any trouble. Okay, it has very nice headrests as well. Yeah. So overall, I think it's a it's a fairly good car. Um, and yeah, because it's still a UBK, when you close the door, you can feel that. Uh, see? Yeah. So let's go to the front. Let's go to the front. When you sit in the front, um, uh, Fata, uh, get me the key, the car key. Yeah, so um, it has, uh, okay, fairly, fairly, fairly good uh, dashboard. It's not the luxurious dashboards that we normally like, but it's good. It also has storage space up here for your driving permits. So you have space, storage space up here again, two, two compartments for you to store your driving permits, uh, your national IDs and your driving permits and all. Yeah. And we'll just start it for us to know. Um, so you see, it still goes up to 180. Still has storage space in the doors here. The manual still is here. Uh, still has storage space down there. When you see like this, this is the view you get. So um, you have a light up here, okay? But you still have a light in the middle and the lights in the back as well. So, let's see. Of course, this is automatic. You see, it's in park. Yeah, I love how it starts. See? Um, and it speaks to Chinese. So this, this, this particular Subaru, um, Okay, it has 137,000 kilometers on the on the dashboard. Of course, it tell you outside temperature, and yeah, this one he put video uh, video conversing, more storage space here, yeah, and more storage space here, and more storage space here, yeah. And then you have your cigarette here, and then the SC here. Of course, he didn't engage the handbrake, but yeah, your handbrake is here. And then, see, and just like that, you enjoy yourself. So, uh, we are going to talk to the owner of this car, and he's going to tell us. Of course, he has 
uh, media control on the steering steering wheel. Yeah, so you would enjoy it. So we're going to talk to the owner of this car and let's just feel how it sounds from the front. Yeah. See, and the moment you start the car, it has those parking lights. It, they are automatic when you stop, then they will also stop. Yeah, you see, uh, engine oil is sent from here, so you can actually use the big stick to check uh, the oil. See? Yeah. See, it's actually not noisy. Yeah, so we're going to just have a, a brief conversation with the owner of this car to tell us. Yeah, what do you think? See? Very nice. Mr. Abdul Hakim Wantimba, own, proud owner of a Subaru Cross Sports. Uh, now, he drives this daily for work. He goes to work and back home. And some sometimes he drives it up country, to his country home, uh, or to go um, see, visit his businesses up country. And uh, yeah, uh, I would like for him to share with us his experience driving it. Of course, it's a UBK, uh, new car, but of course, if it's a bad car, even at UBK, you'd get problems. So, Mr. Hakim, yes, uh, thank you for being part of this show. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, kindly, my, my followers normally want to get first hand information for people that own these cars. What is your experience driving the Subaru Cross Sport? The, the experience, actually, before before this, I had uh, I had uh, a Primo. Mm. But the difference is very big. Mm. It's very stable when we're driving. Yeah. On the road. Mm. Uh, basically, when I'm going to a country, Mm. I can drive up to 160 and it's very stable on the, on, on the road. Yeah. Uh, basically, the, on, the only challenge I get mm. is that when you go beyond 120 speed yes. per, per kilometer, yeah. it consumes a lot. <laughs> if you go beyond that. If you go beyond 120. 120, it consumes a lot. Mm. But uh, between uh, eight, between seventy and a hundred, mm. wow, this very... consumption is very, 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 very good. What do you mean good? How many kilometers do you go with a liter of fuel? Uh, on the highway, mm. I can go between nine and eleven. Nine and eleven. Basically, kilometers. basically ten to eleven. Mm. Eleven when I'm driving between uh, seventy and a hundred. Yeah, on the highway. On the highway. Mm. But when I go beyond uh, beyond a hundred. Mm. Actually, beyond the 120, mm. between 120 and 160, mm. I can drive something like that. eight kilometers per liter. Mm. Yes. And how about in town when you're driving in town? In town, I count six to seven. Six to seven. Yes. Ah. So, uh, from, how how long have you owned this Subaru though? Now it's uh, it's coming to ten months now. Ten months. Yes. And uh, expense wise. Uh, uh fixing maintenance uh, how much does the service cost the, the service? normal service changing of oil filters and all service cost 90, 90 to 100 90 to 100 yes and what have what is the most expensive thing you have fixed since you bought it Never. you have not fixed anything Never. ah Never. so the tires which are there are the ones you are there yeah, the ones you bought. I haven't fixed anything so you, you haven't gotten any problem with this Subaru? No, not yet. So uh, if someone is to buy a Subaru, you, would you advise them to buy a used one on the Kampala roads? Or Actually, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have a saying, mm. I don't want to buy people's problems. Mm. I would love to go to the bond. Mm. Because when you go to bond, those guys, you can talk with them. Mm. Because now this Subaru bought at 35 million. Mm. But... Uh, I paid 15 million mm. and uh, they gave me like six months to pay the balance. The remaining balance. Mm. And now it's uh, 10 months down the road. Mm. I haven't finished it. And they have no problem. They have no problem as long as every month. You give them money. Uh, at least now they are money like two million, I think. Right? Mm. So, mm. If, so if you can go to the bond. bond with them. Because actually buying an old car, mm. okay, from. I know even for the bond they are old, mm. but uh, from. From someone who's owning it, you know, mm. look at it, basically, mm. you know, that someone would want such cash, yeah, cash money. If he's just selling it at uh, 20. 20 million, he wants that to 20 million, yes. But if you got the bond, 
of 20 million you can give them like 10 or oh, maybe 15 and they give you the car and, and they give you the car so and you pay you pay so that's all this thing, right? ah so um would you advise this car for because you have not driven one car but would you advise this car to for a first time car owner if someone is buying their first car strongly i do advise mm. because i haven't got any issue any issue with it mm. not even any issue Ah, okay. Thank you very much, sir. So, if you ask me what is my opinion about this Subaru, especially the one that is non turbo now there are two versions of any Subaru that you'll find. Uh, they'll have the turbo version, they'll have a non turbo version. Now, what Subaru did not take care of is the fuel consumption of all their cars. There are just a few, very few uh, Subarus where you'll find that the consumption is actually very friendly. But majority of them, the fuel consumption is not that friendly. But this particular Subaru, uh, you'll find just one challenge. The suspension plates, the back suspension plates normally break down and then you replace. But that's, that happens with every car. And... Um, but if you if you give it maintenance to service on time and do the suspensions uh, that normally break up generally if you drive this car from home to work work to home you'll not face a lot of problems apart from the fuel consumption but if you're not the kind of person that calculates fuel like me you'll have no problem <laughs>